Hello, and welcome back to Ebenezer. We have a great show in store for you. Coming up, we have a story where Jesus heals a man with leprosy. And instead of a craft, we have an experiment. But before we get into all of that, it's time for another new song. And it's called Jesus by Michael Tinker. Do sing along. There was a man who was born blind. Jesus arrived and healed his eyes. People could not believe what they saw. Was this the same man they knew before? He said, J-E-S-U-S, can it be? H-E-I-S-L-O-R-D H-E-I-S-K-I-N-G I was blind, but now I can see Jesus is Lord, Jesus is King gives a sight so we can see him. The man was brought to the Pharisees. Tell us, they said, who did this thing? We think Jesus is not a good man. He's saying things that only God can. But the man said, U.S. Can it be H-E-I-S-L-O-R-D H-E-I-S-K-I-N-G I was blind but now I can see Jesus is Lord, Jesus is King He gives a sight so we can see Him Jesus found the man once again Do you believe in the Son of Man? Show him to me, the man replied You've already seen, don't you realize? And the man said, J-E-S-U-S, can it be? H-E-I-S-L-O-R-D G-I-S-K-I-N-G I was blind but now I can see Jesus is Lord, Jesus is King He gives us sight so we can see Him Well what a great song! Now it's time for our Bible story where we hear about Jesus healing a man with leprosy. While Jesus was in one of the towns, a man came along who was covered with a skin disease called leprosy. When he saw Jesus, the man fell with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him. Then Jesus ordered him, don't tell anyone but go, show yourself to the priest and offer the sacrifices that Moses commanded for your cleansing as a testimony to them. Yet the news about him spread all the more so that the crowds of people came to hear him and to be healed of their sicknesses. But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. Now that we've had the story, we're going to investigate what it means. To do this, we're gonna need the help of our feathered friend, Zelda. Let's dive into the passage. What is leprosy? Well, leprosy was what people in Jesus' time called a lot of different, very bad skin conditions. And it made people very unwell, and often they had patchy skin that was quite bad. Um, but what was even worse was they had to be cut off from society. They were seen as unclean, and so couldn't take part in anything. And sometimes they even had to shout, unclean, unclean, as they went past people. How does Jesus heal the man? Well, we know Jesus has the power to heal. We've seen him do it before. But what's really interesting about this story is the way that Jesus heals them. He reaches out and he touches them. This would have been outrageous at the time, because people would have seen these people as unclean and you couldn't touch them. 
But Jesus isn't afraid. He doesn't back away from him and he touches him. And it's a real important lesson to us for how we're supposed to act. We're supposed to go out and reach people who other people abandon or forsake. And Jesus promises us that no matter how sinful we are, he will never abandon us. He'll always heal our hearts and forgive our sins. What does Jesus mean by the sacrifices Moses commanded? Well, in a book in the Old Testament called Leviticus, Moses set down lots of rules and laws for what you were supposed to do to be cleansed when you'd been healed from something like leprosy. It often involved animals or oils or uh, various practices, and it would take several days. And so Jesus is telling him to do the law that they followed at the time. Why does Jesus tell him not to tell anyone? Well, that's an interesting question. Part of it was probably that Jesus wanted the man to follow the laws that Moses had set down about how to cleanse himself before he went around telling everyone, so everyone would know that he was doing it in the proper way. Uh, but another reason is that Jesus would have known that he wanted everything to happen at the right time, so that he went to the cross and died and was resurrected all in the right order and at the right time. What can we learn from this passage for our own lives? Well, we can see from this passage that Jesus is still just as compassionate as ever, and he heals those around him. So we're called to be compassionate to those around us too, and help out those who are in need. But we also see that Jesus cares about the Old Testament, because he follows those rules that Moses set down. So perhaps it would be good for us to read through the Old Testament too. And perhaps if you're quite young and the Old Testament is quite difficult, you could get an adult to help you. What are we going to learn about next time? Well, next time, we're going to hear about some people who were so desperate to see Jesus that they lowered their friend down through a roof. That doesn't sound very safe. Let's see what happens next time. Now it's time for the memory verse. Today's memory verse is from Galatians chapter 3, verse 28. And it goes like this. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. So let's say that again. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Now it's time for the craft. Today, we're doing an experiment. For today's experiment, you will need some kitchen roll. This is so we don't make a mess. Four dirty old pennies. You probably got lots of these lying around. One bowl full of water. Four small saucers or plastic cups. You could probably even use milk bottle tops, but that might get a bit messy. Some vinegar. Some lemon juice. Some ketchup. Some ground black pepper. Some hand wash. And finally, some washing up liquid. Now let's get cracking with our experiments. Firstly, take your four plastic cups of saucers and put a dirty penny on each one. Now, fill one saucer with enough vinegar to comfortably cover your penny. Fill the next one with lemon juice. The next one with ketchup. And finally, the last one with some hand wash. Which of these pennies do you think will be most clean when we come back? Make your guesses now! We need to leave these for about 15 minutes. So while we wait, we're going to do another experiment. Take your bowl and fill it with water. I've already put the water in my bowl. Now sprinkle lots of your ground pepper into the bowl so that there is pepper all over the surface. This symbolises all the bad, unclean parts of us, all the things we do wrong that we regret. We can try to scoop it off ourselves, but then it just goes all over our hands. But now, take a small amount of washing up liquid and cover the tip of your finger in it. Now dip your finger just a little bit into the water at the centre. Do you see how the pepper quickly goes away and the water near your finger is left completely clean? This is how we become when we let Jesus into our lives. He, and only he, can make us completely clean and good in God's sight, because he died for us and he took all our sins away with the cross. Isn't that amazing? Now, once the 15 minutes are up, 
it's time to check back on our other experiment. Get some kitchen roll ready, as this bit could be very messy. Take each penny out of its pot and give it a wipe with your kitchen roll so that it's nice and dry. Now let's look at all our different pennies to see which is the cleanest. Oh no, looks like the vinegar didn't do very well. Oh, the lemon juice was alright, but it wasn't as good as it could have been. Wow, look how good the ketchup was. It's so clean. Oh, and the hand wash seems to have been the worst one of all. That's hardly cleaned it at all. Did you guess correctly? Well, what a great experiment. Do send through any pictures of your experiments or questions to the email in the description below. But for now, it's time for another song. And it's by John Hardwick and called I Rely On Your Constant Love. Do sing along. out of time now so we're going to end in a short prayer if you'd like to make it yours please join in with the amen at the end lord thank you that you came to heal and to save all people help us to be agents of your kindness and love going out to help heal this broken world amen amen well that's all we've got time for do tune in next time when we hear about people putting their friend through a roof but for now, that's bye from me, and that's bye from Zelda. And we'll see you in the next video.